Hello, welcome back to another product review. I bought my first full array LED TV about one and a half years ago. It was Sony Bravia 55 inch 4K Ultra HD Smart Certified Android LED TV called 55X9000H. It was a 2020 model and comes with Sony's latest X1 processor and 4K full array LED display. I thought I could play Sony's PlayStation 5 in it but truly speaking I never got hands on PS5 as the stocks are not available in good amounts in India. Whenever the PS5 stocks come back they get sold out in minutes. So is 55X9000H TV best for gaming with PS5? For now the answer is no. Now the QLED TVs or Quantum LED TVs and XR series TVs from Sony are out and they have higher XR processor that can deliver better gaming than the X1 series like the 55X 9000H TV that I have. But the difference is not that much noticeable. These new TVs have more details in the color contracts and ability to generate pure black. So is 55X 9000H TV a good option? My answer is, if you want to buy the starting range of premium LED TVs with full array LED features for watching broadcast channels, movies, streaming media or for gaming with PS4 or PS5, then 55X9000H is a good option. I will cover the full features of this TV, give a short unboxing section, discuss its pros and cons and also tell about other similar TVs in this price range. In the end, if you like the TVs, try the links in the video description to buy it, which could help me out as well. Okay, let's get started. Like I said earlier, this TV was a craze among PlayStation gamers back towards the end of 2020. There were a lot of publicity for this TV back then. Sadly, after a few months, Sony released the XR series and this TV got a black and white spotlight. But if you know about the features this TV has and compare it with the XR series, there is not a lot of difference, making this TV still a premium TV to have. I ordered this TV on Amazon and it was delivered within one week. To open the package, you have to release the bottom holders and then pull the outer package out. You can wall mount the TV or use the metal blade stand that comes in the package. Wall mounting module is not included in the package. The stand part is very modernistic and slides into the TV unit perfectly. Once the stands are fixed, just turn on the TV upright and you are ready to set up further. There is also a cable management clip included which you can choose to use to organize the cables. This TV has an outer frame protecting the edges with aluminium bezel. I also got Sony WHCH 510 wireless headphones free with the TV and it's a Bluetooth headset very useful if you want to hear music or movies personally. The size of the TV is 123.1 into 7 into 70 cm or 56 inches that is 139 cm diagonally. Here's the comparison with my old 32 inch Sony TV. There is one year warranty provided by the manufacturer from the date of purchase of the TV. On mode power consumption is around 137 watts. Once the TV is started, you are required to set up the operating system normally as you do in your Android phone. You can set up the devices connected to the TV like TV setup box or PlayStation consoles if you have one. You can also connect home theaters or soundbar. This TV is not an OLED TV, so you can set it up in any room, dark or windowed or well lit rooms. There is no pixel burning issues in full array TV, so you can game or watch any of your favorite channel continuously. The brightness of full array TV is much greater than OLED TV, so it's very bright. Only thing that this TV is lacking is the generation of pure black, which only expensive OLED TVs can do. Now some spectacular features of X1 series, 55X9000 TV are 4K ultra high definition display with refresh rate of 100Hz. As I said earlier, it is a full array LED TV with extended dynamic range pro that controls the LED across the panel 
and stimulates brightening and dimming so that picture contains true to life contrast producing pure blacks and realistic brightening but dark color are not that dark as you get in oled tvs 4k upscaling is also done by the tv which help to upscale the picture quality from raw resolution tv channels or media to 4k resolutions 55x 9000 tv comes with tri luminous display which widens the color spectrum adds more color to the picture with the help of the x1 processor so picture has vivid reds vibrant greens and brilliant blues also the tri luminous display has very little color loss when viewed from sides thus widening the viewing angles object based hdr master is also present in the tv that analyzes the object in the picture individually and adjusts the contrast relatively so that tv can reproduce greater depth textures and more realistic pictures there is also x motion clarity technology present that enhances the picture quality of fast moving scenes making it bright and clear it does this by reproducing more frames duration optimizing it and boosting the brightness if needed This TV is also Calman ready which is a software used by visual creators in the post production quality control workflows making this TV capable of delivering pictures with professional grade color calibrated accuracy in the home another feature of this TV is the presence of eARC HDMI port which allows connecting latest gaming consoles like PlayStation 5 thereby allowing gaming at 4K 120 fps with 7.2 microsecond low input lag it has bravia gaming mode which is automatic game console detection which triggers tv to switch to low latency game mode so overall this tv can deliver super fast gaming experience on bigger screen with all the picture quality and chasmen discussed before what else you want PlayStation 5 however also supports 8K gaming which sadly is not supported in this TV so you have to get a 4320p or 8K resolution display for that if you are a rich guy Sony XR 85Z9J is an 8K TV by the way now this is an Android TV with built-in Chromecast which means you can install many of the countless number of apps available in Google Play Store. You can also cast the media from your mobile phone, laptop or PC directly to this TV. It also works with Apple AirPlay and Apple HomeKit which means you can do the same casting features from your Apple devices as well. You can also connect Alexa with this TV. to control various parameters like changing channels volumes and more the tv remote has smooth metallic texture up front and plastic patterns at the back and has google play and netflix button specially for their respective apps the mic button is also provided with google assistant and mic features you can check weather appointments and even play any of your favorite movie or song just by speaking to the google assistant using the mic it's like talking to an ai and getting what you want in an instant like bravia gaming board there is also netflix calibrated mode to provide studio quality netflix content directly in the tv faithfully preserving the creator's visions and intent as produced on a studio evolution master Now about the sound quality. This TV has audio speakers directly behind the TV display and placed at different zones and so-called X-balance speakers with acoustic multi-audio that delivers the movies and music with clear sound. These speakers produce sound from multi dimensions putting you directly in the scene. The Dolby Vision Atmos further adds more clarity, immersion and dimension to the audio so you can hear objects moving around with more realism providing a truly multi-dimensional experience now having been said all these some pros and cons of 55x 9000h tv first pro to mention is its sleek design compared to previously launched sony tvs amazing picture quality due to 4k upscaling 100 hz refresh rate full ray extended dynamic range 
object based hdr remaster x motion clarity etc tri luminous display with wide viewing angle as discussed before powerful 4k hdr x1 processor immersive acoustic multi audio with x balance speakers and dolby vision atmos bravia gaming board with 4k 120 fps gaming of low latency of 7.2 ms or less now some cons are pure black brightness and contrast are not as on oled tvs refresh rate and picture quality is slightly lesser than present full array series tvs available in the market has x1 processor as compared to the xr cognitive processor present in the latest xr series of sony tvs ability to control tv setup box with tv remote sometime disconnects and need to be reconfigured so the cons are very less and not objectionable this tv has good performance at this price range as compared to the present xr series and some oled tvs But if you have that little extra money to give away, I recommend checking the XR series and the latest OLED TVs, which does not have the pixel burning issues while watching the same channels or playing the same game for longer durations. Now, some of the other TVs at this price range to check out are TCL 55 inch 4K Ultra HD certified Android QLED TV. 55C825 which has about 50 watt sound output Samsung 55 inch Wonder Entertainment series 4K Ultra HD LED smart TV with lowest refresh rate of 60 hertz LG 55 inch 4K USB TV with a remarkable refresh rate of 240 kilohertz Check out these competitive TVs from the links in the video description. From my opinion, together with the specification of this Sony 55X 1000H TV, it is the best starting option for Sony's range of premium TVs. If you are willing to buy this TV or check other similar TVs, please check the links in the video description. That's it for the review of the Sony's 55X 1000H TV. If you liked it, give this video a thumbs up. and subscribe for unboxing and review of more useful and best products in the future if you like to support please join as youtube channel members or check the patreon or crowdfunding links in the video description thanks for watching see you in the next video until then bye and take care